What's good ladies and gents, welcome to the MKL Pugilism Boxing Channel where we talk all things boxing, remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, put that on also to get notified of all these content on this channel as and when it drops. So let's get into this one. So as many of you would have heard, um, Deontay Wilder is in fact looking to make a comeback to boxing. So that's good news for us as fans and um, Deontay Wilder, arguably the hardest puncher in boxing when he was in it so he's a guy that you know you're guaranteed fireworks you're guaranteed knockouts <laughs> nearly every time i think it's only um tyson fury and bermain stavern who have sort of managed to take deontay wilder the distance so it's the type of guy that he hits you <laughs> you get knocked out so i'm looking forward to this um as far as opponents um, anyone who would have watched the uh, Kubrat Bulev Derek Chisora fight will know that Derek Chisora he won that fight, and Chisora said I want to fight. After that, he said I want to fight anyone, everyone in my era. Um, if Eddie Hearn can get me the bronze bomber, if he can get me Deontay Wilder, I'll be happy with that. So Chisora calls out Deontay Wilder in the ring um, after his victory over uh, Kubrat Bulev. Um, but somebody has come along and poured um, cold water on that idea. And that person, of course, is Shelley Finkel. Shelley Finkel is Deontay Wilder's uh, manager and advisor and all this. And uh, I believe he's, he's the same guy that persuaded Deontay Wilder to turn down the hundred and odd, I think it was about $120 million deal, uh, which would include, I think, a Dominic Brazil fight and uh, two fights against Anthony Joshua. So this is the same Shelley Finkel who persuaded Deontay Wilder to go and do another fight. I think it was to do Fury fight instead or something like that, where he made a lot less money. So he's that same uh, manager who persuaded him to take less money um, for an arguably, <laughs> on the, in, in hindsight, looking back on it, a harder fight against Fury fights that he basically lost all three. Um, for less money than what he would have got paid to fight Joshua. So, yeah, Shelley Finkel, he's come out and quashed these uh, rumours or whatever you call them about Anthony Joshua. Sorry, not Anthony Joshua. The fight, uh, Wilder fighting Derek Chisora as a comeback opponent. He said, not interested in Derek Chisora. He barely scraped by on, you know, against uh, a guy like Kubrat Pulev. We're not interested in him. We don't want that fight. What we want is is Anthony Joshua in the UK. Yeah, we, we'd be willing to fight Anthony Joshua in the UK. That would be a big, massive fight. So we would rather uh, take that fight. We're not interested in Derek Chisora. Um, there's also rumours. Uh, I think Frank Warren's been coming out and he said that there's rumours of uh, Deontay Wilder facing off against Robert Hellenius. And... Um, these are, you know, again, Robert Hellenius. He's another guy that he's a tremendous puncher. He's quite bolt upright. Um, he recently, well, not that recently. I think this goes back about a year or two now. He beat um, that Kalnaki, Adam Kalnaki, which was, you know, a big win for him. A bit of an upset as Kalnaki was another kid coming through, a Polish guy looking to be a bit of a prospect, hittable and whatever, but... Yeah, a bit of a prospect. So, you know, Hellenius beat him. That was sort of, I think, is pretty much the biggest win. So there's those are the sort of rumours you've got there. Um, you've got Hellenius as a possible comeback opponent, which um, personally I wouldn't take any difference with. I think that's a good enough comeback opponent. Um, with with Chisora, you've got his uh, coach, Don Charles, saying he's, he's interested in the Wilder fight. He thinks that what they could do is they could nullify that right hand and, and basically that's all Deontay Wilder's got. So you've got Chisora and them showing interest. Finkel say no, he's not interested in it. So I think definitely, you know, 100% we're not looking at Anthony Joshua next for Deontay Wilder, much as I wouldn't want to see it. I also would say probably we're not going to get Chisora versus Wilder because I reckon... Um, 
Wilder tends to really play, pay close attention and really be um, led 100% by Finkel and he, he can persuade him of anything pretty much. So I, I reckon more than likely we'll probably get the Hellenius fight maybe as a comeback and then who knows what next. Um, he's got good favour, he's in the good, good books of the WBC so who knows what's next. Um, uh, it's one of them. Uh, we So as far as that, that's just a bit of news there. We don't know exactly who Wilder's comeback opponent is, but I strongly suspect it could be someone like Hellenius, um, which I think would be a good comeback opponent. I'd, I wouldn't... With Chisora, I'd be worried about him, worried about um, his health going into that fight. But again, what if Chisora lands a bingo punch and then you know, puts Wilder down and puts Wilder away. You know, Wilder ain't really shown much signs of deterioration, but you never know what the Fury fights have taken out of him. So yeah, let me know what you think about this. Who do you think Deontay Wilder should fight um, in his comeback fight? Do you think Hellenius is likely? Do you think Chisora is just a no-no? Um, let me know what you think. And until next time, this is MKO Pugilism over and out.